You look beautiful. Congratulations. What was it like filming this time round, knowing that it was such a huge global success? Was it different filming for you? It was definitely different the first day. I did a scene um, in the Bridgerton household and there was a lot of people there. And I think we were all a bit sort of like starstruck because we, we, we'd seen the show come out while we were in lockdown and we didn't know what it was like, what it would be like when we shot the first series. And then coming back and it was like, oh my God, there's the house. We were all looking at each other going, oh my God. Yeah. Kind of. That's so funny. And obviously at one point it was rumoured that you might be Lady Whistledown. Do you wish that you were Lady Whistledown? And if you were, who would you be gossiping about? Who do we think? I mean, it would be fun to be Lady Whistledown, but I like the fact that I can still be involved with the Lady Whistledown story in some way. And who would I be gossiping about? Probably Benedict. <laughs> Obviously. If, on that note, if, let's say, Tinder was around in the Regency era, who would be, we be swiping right on if it wasn't one of the Bridgerton boys? Or maybe it could be another one of the Bridgerton boys. I don't know. I think if Theo... By the way, is right, I don't know anything about dating out. Is right good? Right. Oh, if Theo was a little bit older, I think that Genevieve would like him. Yeah, I think she'd swipe on him. Yeah, you know? And obviously, you made the dresses for, you know, all of the characters, pretty much all of the characters. What was it actually like being around all those costumes? Were there any particular hacks that they used to have going to the balls? Because I think I've heard kind of behind the scenes, the men used to wear kind of their phones in their boots on set just because there wasn't any other space to put it. Did you have any of those kind of hacks while you were filming? For me, yeah. I mean, I was in my shop. I, I can put my, like, my phone in the little like silk rolls and things like that or a little snack under the counter in the shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and lastly, what can people expect from both your character and from this season? What makes it different? I think people are going to fall in love with, with um, Johnny and Simone in this. I think the chemistry is out of this world. And I just, and I just think there's so much, or each of the characters have developed and blossomed and I think they're just going to be, um, they're going to be still binging it, but I think they're going to really fall in love with the two main characters this season. I have to say, I've watched some of the episodes and I'm already falling in love with them, so I can totally agree. Oh Congratulations. Enjoy tonight. Thank you.